Hey everyone, this is Trisha Victoria. I'm super excited to show you how I edit with the TVP Dream Pack. Um, I want to talk about where the pack was inspired from because I think that will kind of give you a great insight to what's going on with these images and what's going to be what's going to work best with these with this pack of presets. So um, when my daughter was born, I immediately decided I'd like to start editing her images with a ethereal, fine art, bright, clean type of look. Um, if you're familiar with my work, you know that that's not exactly the traditional method of editing that I go to, but Elsie's life has just sort of drawn that out in me. So that is exactly the preset pack I went out and I created. So the images that are gonna work best with this pack are images that are, you know, overcast, uh, window light, blue hour, etc. The what I'm really trying to get at is the images itself that are going to work best don't have a ton of contrast from light and dark. Um, they're going to have a lot of flat light, even light, as I like to call it. Um, you can have lots of color in it still, but they're just going to work best on images where you're not going to find a lot of um, contrast in the light. So I'm going to show you guys real quick here um, all the presets in the pack so you can kind of get an idea of how they function on an image. So we have the pack here. I've just renamed the group just so that I could keep it at the top for the recording. Um, but we have Dream 1, which is bright. Dream 2, which is a lot softer than the first preset. Um, Dream 3, which is a faded version of the preset. Um, well, it's completely different, but it's a faded preset. Um, Dream 4 has three different varieties um, and they're going to look good on an image that's a little darker as a base um, and I will show you that today. Dream 5 is your basic preset and when I say basic I mean it will probably work on most images so it's a pretty clean image or sorry it's a pretty clean preset that will function best on, on the majority of images that you try to use it on um, and I have a cool version of that and a warm version of that. Dream 6 is a vibrant preset that's going to work great for images where you want to keep a lot of color in them. So obviously when you look at that, um, it's very, very vibrant. Uh, but if, let's just say I were planning on using it for this image, which I wouldn't, um, I would just take the warmth down, the temperature there and the white balance down, and then you've got a way more reasonable looking image with that vibrant. But there is a purpose for this vibrant preset, pa or preset and I will show it to you in a minute. And then, of course, we have the black and white. We don't need to go into discussion about what black and white is. Um, but this particular black and white will kind of fall in line with that dreamier look uh, that the rest of the presets have. So um, really, the skin tones are creamy, soft, dreamy. Um, you know, that's kind of really where I went with, with this pack. So that's what you'll find when you use it. Really, really great for skin tones. So let's start with this image of Elsie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I can't really decide which preset I wanted to use on this. So I actually am going to show you two different versions. Here's the faded. We're just going to start with faded. Um, I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can. So I'm just going to decrease that exposure a little bit. Highlights down, whites down, increase the shadows, and maybe cool it off a little bit. For some reason, I'm really into cooler images these days. Um, so with a lot of warmth, but just cooling it off rather than warming it up, which is my traditional way of doing things. So yeah, here's your before, here's your after. I really love that feel. It's very um, avant-garde, very painterly to me. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I would do this if I were going to use um, the soft preset. This is one of my favorites in the pack. So I would say personally the bright, the soft, and the faded are my favorites in the pack. But uh, I like all of them for very different reasons. So, yeah. So this is one click from the soft. I'm always checking in with my before and after to just try to keep the integrity of the image um, as true to life as possible while still having a bit of a punch with that preset. So, yeah. I've been decreased that exposure. Cooled it off a little bit. I'm really liking this. And I think I might bring some blacks back and some shadows back. Loving it, and I'm gonna decrease that contrast just a little bit more. Um, the image itself is obviously quite soft, so you're not gonna see a lot of contrast, anyways. So, yeah, there is my before, there is my after. I'm very happy with it, and to be frank, I just don't know which version I would choose. So, good problem to have, hey? 
So now this image of Elsie sleeping on the bed, tons of white in the image. Um, so yeah, if you're an influencer or if you've got kids and you love like natural neutral tones, um, this, you're going to die when you work with this pack. So I'm going to choose soft. I just, oh, look at that one click. It's so pretty. So here we have one click. I'm going to just decrease the exposure here. And I'm going to bring the blacks down just a little bit. Likewise with the shadows. And I am going to cool it off because I don't want it to be too warm. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. Here's your before. Here's your after. I am going to go ahead and bring some more blacks in. Before. After. I might cool it just a pinch more. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Before. After. Boom. Done. Super quick. So here's um, this image. Lots of color in this image, which is the reason I chose it to work with. I am going to go with soft. I automatically know that that's how I like this. I'm going to just cool it off a bit. That's I'm quite happy with. Let's decrease that exposure just a little bit. I'm just going to check in my before and after. And you know what? I think the only thing I'd like to do is increase the saturation of my pants just to kind of keep that in true. So I did that in the ASL slider panel. So yeah, here is your before. Here is your after. I love it. Just like look at how glorious... That skin tone is, it's so soft and creamy and I just love it. So this image, oh my gosh, this was such a fun session. Elsie and I, <laughs> she just went along for the ride. I put her in a milk bath and had a lot of fun with little rose petals. So I automatically know I want to use the faded for this. So it's a little bit brighter than I want to go, obviously. So my first step is going to be to take the exposure down. And I am going to bring my white balance down right to about 55. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. 5,500. Lower in the highlights and the whites. And just bringing up those that contrast a little more. Here's your before, here's your after. It's a little too pink for my liking. So I'm just going to bring the green back in a little bit. I am very, very happy with that. I love it. The only thing I actually would do to this image, if I felt like being a total perfectionist, would be to take this into Photoshop and smooth out her skin. But anyways, that's just details. So here's your before, here's your after. I love that faded avant-garde look. This image is by the incredible Lot of Love Photography, which is run by Charlotte. And she has sent over a bunch of her raws to let me play with and test these presets on. So thank you, Charlotte. Um, I love this photograph. I'm gonna use the dream floor for this so as I mentioned earlier I said this is going to work dream Four is going to work great for images that are a little darker and I have a lot of color in it as well so um, I'm going to pick the first one so yeah what's one click here's your before here's your after I'm going to cool it off first and then I'm going to take the contrast down a little bit and the blacks up because I just want to make it a little more soft so I'm really liking the way that this is going I'm going to take those whites down just a pinch Checking in with my before and after. And I might even pull that contrast a little more. Yeah, I'm really liking this. Um, I might desaturate just a little bit with the vibrance. Um, I like using vibrance as much as I can over saturation because I feel like vibrance is less harsh when you're making a change. It's more of a subtle change than a harsher change. So anyways, that's personal preference. So I'm pretty happy with this. Here you're your before, here you're your after. I love it. I love the skin. I love the tones. Very happy with this image. This image is by the incredible Waddle and Fig Photography, which is run by Lindsay. And oh my gosh, I'm super biased because I love horses. They are my favorite animal. So maybe that's why I like this image so much. But yeah, Lindsay is just outrageously talented. Thank you for sending me your raw, Lindsay. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I edited this photo. So I love the faded preset on this image. Here's one click. I mean, there's just, in my opinion, very little that you would need to do to tweak this image to be more <laughs> acceptable. Um, so yeah, I'm going to maybe take the highlights and the shadows down a little bit, possibly the exposure, increase those shadows just a pinch. And I think I might actually do the, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank, whatever this thing is, and decrease the exposure in the sky a little bit. Radial, gradual, gradual something or other. Oh my gosh, what is this called? Um, that's going to drive me crazy. Gradual filter. <laughs> so yeah, use that and bring um, some details back in the sky. Uh, not too dark, but 
Let me bring some blues into that and some, there we go. So here's your before, here's your after. I mean, that took me like two seconds, I feel like, so. I love it, thank you, Lindsay. Oh, look, we have another beautiful image by the Lindsay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly, I'm just obsessed with her work. So again, thanks, Lindsay, for sending me this. This I'm gonna use, um, Dream 5. Okay, one click, you guys. Just like, get out of here. It's so beautiful. I'm always checking out my before and afters. You increase that exposure a little bit. I mean, I literally don't even know what I would change in this. Maybe bring the highlights down. The white balance is just bang on to me, so I love it. I don't I don't think I would do anything else except for maybe lighten her face up a little bit here, but I'm not gonna worry about that for this. So yeah, here's your before, here's your after. Boom, love it. Oh, look at that little ham in my ham, Sammy. Okay, so this image, automatically, I know I'm going to want to use my bright. So here's your before. Here's one click with the bright in, the bright preset before or after. I love it. There's very little I would do with this image. So one of the things I want you guys to note, I shoot in shade mode, um, and I get a lot of really rich warmth when I shoot in shade. Um, but you're still, when you have a lot of white in the images that you're photographing or when you have a lot of even light, I sometimes find that the tones are still cool, which is going to work really, really great for this pack. And even if they're not cool, you can just fix that very, very easily with your white balance. So anyways, white, one click before and after lots of blue tones in here, but still lots of warmth. So this is a punchier preset of the pack. I'd say it's the most punchy for, um, energy or whatever you want to call it. Um, whereas like the vibrant has a lot of color in it, but this is just brighter and very colorful. So I love this. I am going to cool it down just a pinch and take down my exposure just a pinch and maybe increase the contrast a little bit. I mean, I just, it's great. I don't know what else I would do to this. Boom. Done. Okay. So this is another image I'm going to use the bright Reset on. Okay, so here's your before, here's your after, one click. I want to note something about this particular image. When I photographed it, um, I had to account for the dark blanket that she was on, but she was quite white. So she's actually a little overexposed, which isn't something I normally do. When I expose my images, I am typically exposing perfectly or just slightly under. Um, what that meter would tell you to expose for. So when you apply the preset, for instance, on the, an image like this, it's a lot more bright than you may want, but you got to always check in with that before. Why is it brighter than you want necessarily? Sometimes it's because you've overexposed. Um, a really easy remedy, again, you just need to take the exposure down a little bit. And I'm going to also take the contrast down and then the shadows up because I don't want this to get too dark as I'm trying to remedy this. So I might take the blacks down just a little bit and I'm actually going to increase the vibrance and I might want it up despite what I was telling you about cooling it off a lot. But yeah, I'm very, very pleased with this. I still think it's so dreamy and lovely. Um, here's your before, here's your after. Finally, I'm going to show you the vibrant. So um, I created before I, <laughs> this is very harsh looking. So I created the vibrant preset specifically for images that have a lot of color in them when you're outside. Um, and you want to keep the integrity of colors like the canola fields that I photographed LC in. Um, so when you initially apply that preset, it is going to look very stark. So here's your before, here's your after with one click. Obviously you can see this before is actually quite warm. So that is why this is going to look even warmer than you would, you know, normally hand or deliver a photograph with. So I'm going to automatically take my white balance down. So here's your like almost what the camera was. And I'm going to take the balance down to like a good 4,700 ish. So yeah, here's your before, here's your after once I fix the balance. And then I'm going to take the contrast down, increase that exposure, and increase the black. Here's your, goal. Here's your before and after. Oh, I love it. I love, love, love it. I'm going to increase the exposure on her face because that is just driving, driving me crazy. So, um, yeah, there you go. Before, after. Super simple tweaks. But again, I want you to remember how friggin' harsh it was when you initially apply that preset. So, um, all I tweaked was white balance, exposure, some shadows, highlights, and blacks. 
So that's it, folks. Pretty simple stuff. So um, I feel very obligated to show you the black and white preset because it is part of the pack, but I feel like most people know how to work with black and white. <laughs> so here's the here's one click black and white. This is obviously a little bit underexposed, which is my jam, but you basically all you would need to do here is increase exposure. Boom, done. So on another image that's a lot brighter to start off with, um, you would obviously see this is like really overexposed just take your shadows down and your um, exposure way down and there you go so there's your before and there's your after so thanks so much for joining me i hope you guys found this useful and helpful and i hope you love the dream pack as much as i do um i you know what i it just because it's been inspired by my daughter and i've never had a pack of presets that's hit so close to home I just, I have a personal attachment to this. So I just have this feeling that it's going to be something that you guys love a lot. Hit me up if you guys have any questions and I will see you guys next time.